Hello and welcome to a crafting program here at your library. My name is Mary and today we're going to be making easy macrame wall hangings. Now hopefully by now you've picked up your supplies at the library and in that bag you're going to find everything you need for this craft. And what that is is a stick to hang the hanging from. Also we have a one and a half foot strand of cord and also we have 10 three foot strands of cord. All right, and that is everything you need to get started. Uh, you're gonna wanna find some place where you can work probably while standing up or sitting down, but some place you can hang your hanging while you're working on it. Go find a place and then we'll get started. <laughs> We're gonna start with the lark's head knot. So you take your doubled over knot like that, you put it over the top, and then you just pull through the tail and then just tighten it up like so. And then you repeat the same thing with the rest of your cable, your cords. Just fold them in half, feed it over top, pull it through, and then pull it tight or not so tight. That's up to you, however tight you want it. And just keep going in half, over the top, and through. Over, through, and then tighten it up. And then you can kind of adjust it so it's where you want on your stick there. Kind of put it in the center if you'd like. Leave enough room so that you can tie uh, whatever you use to hang it at the end. So if you want it right there in the middle, get it as close to the middle as you can. Okay. All right, and now we're gonna move on to one of the most commonly used knots in macrame. If you've done any amount of macrame, you've definitely used this knot. It's the square knot. And for that, you're going to want to start with four strands. And you take the one on the right, and you hold it to the side like this. And then you take this one here on the left, take it over this one, and then under the two, and up through this one on the right. And then you just pull that through, kind of tighten it, pull it up. You might have to work it a little bit. And then there you've got the first part. And this is the part where you have to keep track of what hand you started with and then what hand you're moving to. So then you do it on the other side. You pull your loop over on the left now. You take your strand on the right, take it over that one from the left, and then under the two in the middle, and then up through the loop on the left. And then you just pull it tight again. Now, if you do this wrong, and you do two on the right or two on the left, you'll see that the knot won't look quite like that. And if that happens, just undo it and start again. If you can't remember what you did, just undo it and start again. It's, it's not a big deal. Okay, and then we'll take our next four, and we'll do the same thing. Our loop on the right, our strand on the left, go over the tail from the one on the right, behind the two middle, and then up through that loop on the right, and then pull it up and tighten it, right like that. And then the same thing on the other side. You have your loop on the left, strand on the right, over the tail of the one on the left, under the two from the middle, and then up through that loop on the left. And then just tighten it there. You don't want to go too tight. Macrame knots are loose on the loose side. Last four. Loop on the right. Tail on or other strand on the left. Take it over under the two in the middle. Up through the loop on the right. And 
then a loop on the left, tail on the right, over, under, and through. And you just tighten that up. All right, and so now we want to move down a row. So how are you going to make it start turning into a triangle? Well, we're going to take the two farthest, and I, I like to loop it over here just so I keep it out of the way and remember that I'm not going to use them. And also the two on this side, just loop it up out of your way. And then you're just going to do the same knot again with the four at a time, same square knot. Loop on the right, tail on the left, you go over, under, and through. And then loop on the left, tail on the right, go over, under, and through. And then just keep repeating all the way across, and then I'll meet you again at the end of that row. And now on to the next row. It's the same as the previous row. We're just going to eliminate two again from each side and just get them out of the way. And then you're just going to do four at a time again, more square knots. Eliminate two more from each side. Two from each side out of the way. One last knot. You can make all kinds of things with this square knot. I make all my plant hangers at home I make using square knots. It's a really easy and functional knot. Form and function. Alright, so there you go. You've got your little triangle. So now to finish off, we're going to use the double half hitch knot. And to start, we're just going to take this far strand on the left, and we're going to keep it in our right hand the entire time we're working, and it's just going to make the nice diagonal coming down here. So we take the next strand in our left hand, make a loop out here on the side, take it over the one in your right hand, under the one in your right hand, and then up through the loop that you had in your left hand. Pull it tight and do your best to work it up on the this strand here and kind of leave it like that. Then you do the same thing again. Loop in your left hand, tail over the one on your right, under the one on your right, and then up through the loop in your left hand. Then just kind of pull it, work it up so it's up next to its buddy. And then I like to take that one, loop it up out of my way so I don't accidentally use it again. And then you just keep going. Take the next strand in your left hand, make a loop over, under, and up through that loop. Pull it up and just work it into place. And then you just do another loop over, under, up, through. Pull it into place, kind of work it as you go, kind of work it down that line so it makes that diagonal. 
because I do two. And if you forget, if you did two, you can go back and count so I can see one, two, three, four. I know I did the right amount and I go on to the next one. Okay, and now we're on our last one here in the middle. See, we've got our two middle ones. We wanna, just wanna use one of them and then we're gonna stop into the other side. So same thing, over, under, up, through. Same thing. Okay, then we do the same thing on the other side. Take the far strand, this time we're going to hold it in our left hand the whole time. Then we take our strand and we just do it backwards. So we make a loop over on the right, take the tail, go over, under, up, and then just pull the knot. Do the same thing again, loop, over, under, up, and pull the knot. These ones actually feel like they're pulling right to where I want them a little bit easier. So loop, over, under, up, loop, over, under, up, and just keep going. Okay, now with that last knot done, you can see you've got your two came together at the end and to finish it off so it looks a little more clean and doesn't have that gap we're going to take the one from the left in our right hand again and we're just going to tie it together with the one from the right so this one gets pulled over and we make a loop on the left over under up and through and just see it just goes in right nice there loop, over, under, up, and through. And now they're tied together quite nice. Now if you want, you're done right there. Or if you want, you can cut on a diagonal each side and let them fray either naturally or you can unwrap them and have a nice frayed end. Or, which is what we're gonna do, we're gonna detach this and we're gonna turn it around. So once you have your weaving, flipped over. You're just going to do the same thing on the other side. Now I'm hoping that I can make it because I've got, as you'll see, I've got a few short strands, but we'll do the best we can. Alright, so you just take it in your right hand again, the one from the left, and you do more of your double half hitches. So loop, over, under, up and through, pull into place, over, under, up, and through. Loop, over, under, up, and through, over, under, up, and through. Okay, just keep on going, and then you do the same thing on the other side. Bring this one over, just do your double half hitches. And just remember with that last one, you're going to start back on the side that you've started with, pull that one over to the side, and this one becomes your half hitch. Okay, and then if you're doing it this way, one more time, you're going to just flip your, we your macrame around. One on the far left, hold it in your right hand, get your loop over, under, up, and through. Loop over, under, up, and through. Okay, keep going. With our finishing off, 
this one over this one and then you just do your knot short but that's okay actually since that one came up a little short I think I'm going to instead try doing it now I think I'm going to end up with the same problem maybe not nope so if you end up with one side not coming down as far as the other you can just finish it off on that side instead of the original side just modify it to whatever fits your wall hanging and there you go. And now to finish it off, I'm going to take these tails and I'm just going to cut on an angle as best I can down like that. So I'll just take my scissors and I'm going to just cut as close as I can to what an angle looks like. It's not going to be perfect. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Just kind of try to make it even on the bottom, but it's probably not going to be. It's macrame. I'm just going to give it a trim. Now the last thing I want to do, and it's up to you whether you cut it or whether you do this last part. I like the really frayed edges, so I'm going to just you give your cord a twist and it comes right apart like that. You kind of don't even have to do anything. Just give it a twist and it comes apart. And as time goes on and you mess with it more, it's going to really fray and really look very bohemian, very aesthetic. And if you wanted longer strands, you could have stopped after that first V. If you like this look, you can go for this. Okay, there you go. I hope you liked it. Welcome back. Now you'll have your wall hanging. I hope you didn't find that too difficult, but there's one last step, and that is just to tie your one and a half foot cord to it, or anything you'd like to use instead of the cord. Just tie it on to whatever you've used as your stick, and then if you're using the macrame cord, don't worry about being it being a little frayed at the end. Fun of macrame is that it's a little bit unfinished, and then there you have you go. You can hang it wherever you'd like, and if you have any questions or you got stuck at any point along the way, we are going to have a Zoom meetup at the end of the month. You can find that information on our website or in the description below. We'll be on to answer any questions you might have. And then next month, join us again. We're going to be making palette coasters next month. I hope you had fun. Have a good day.